Welcome back to Our World with Black Enterprise. Kenneth Frazier is a rare breed, one of only four African-American CEOs to run our nation's largest publicly traded corporations. He's also led Merck and Company onto the Black Enterprise list of top companies for diversity. And he's ranked among the most powerful executives in corporate America. Chief Content Officer Derek Dingle has more. Take a look. When you um, became CEO of Merck, three years, roughly three years ago, the statement you made was that you wanted Merck to focus on innovation. What does innovation look at look like at Merck? Well, for Merck, our raison d'etre is coming forward with transformational medicines. And a recent example of that is our new investigational medicine for cancer. It's one of the first in a series of what are called immunotherapies for cancer. So this medicine is one that actually helps the body's own natural defenses defeat the tumors. And that's the kind of thing that a company like Merck exists to do. How do you decide which drugs are going to be in the pipeline for long-term development? So first of all, those decisions are made by our very capable research scientists. Uh, they're not made in the first instance by me. And that's a good thing for people that they're investors as well as patients that they're being made by those very able people. But generally speaking, where Merck tries to go with its research dollars is we look for the intersection of unmet medical need and scientific opportunity. So we want to be in those areas like cancer, like Alzheimer's, like HIV, like hepatitis C, where there's great unmet medical need around the world, a need for better therapy, and where we have scientific opportunity in terms of new targets that we can go after. One area that you focus a great deal on is corporate responsibility. What does corporate responsibility look like at, at, at Merck? Well, I would say corporate responsibility has sort of three levels. The first level is we want to be a responsible employer. We want to be a company that's actually a great place for people of diverse backgrounds to come and work. The second area is how we actually do our day-to-day -day business, which is bringing forward important medicines that save and improve lives, and importantly, ensuring that we do it in a way that people can have access to those medicines around the world. The third area, and that's the one that people normally think when they think about corporate social responsibility, is what are we doing outside our business? What are we doing yeah. that we're not required to do to actually help mankind? So how do you define your management style? When you run a company like Merck, it's an incredibly broad company, both geographically and from a skill set perspective. And I don't think it's my role to actually tell people how to do their jobs. It's my role to make sure that people are clear about our main opportunities, our main priorities. But my management style, frankly, I would say, I hope is one of empowerment. Because I believe that as human beings, we all have a lot more power than we actually recognize. I wanted to talk about the uh management challenges and um, your biggest management challenges as CEO, what were the lessons learned and how is that propelling the, uh, those lessons propelling the company forward? I would say a couple of things. So first of all, I think you have to constantly learn no matter what you're doing. And this business is incredibly complex. And if you're not willing to be a student uh, of the business in all of its forms, then you're not going to be successful. So I would say constant learning is something that I reinforce with myself all the time. And as I look back on my tenure, if I had to pick the thing that I most regret about it, it is that inevitably we've had to change the company, its operating model, and that sometimes comes at the cost of very good people who uh, are not able to continue to be employed long term in a company. But it has to be done if you're actually going to position the company for long-term success. What are some tips that you would give young professionals about ascending the uh, corporate ladder? It's great to, to expand your responsibility, but you have to start by proving that you're good at what you are assigned to do. But at the same time, be willing to learn. And I think lots of times we human beings want to stay in our comfort zone. And if you want to move up in a company that has as diverse and complex as Merck, you're going to have to go into new areas where you know nothing. The third area, which is really important, is to do the thing that you love to do. Because if you're doing things that you love to do, then it doesn't feel like work. Up next, our Entrepreneur of the Week takes our education to the next level, providing needed care for senior citizens. My grandmother took ill with cancer 
and my mother took her in, and it was then that I found my passion, and that was caring for elderly and disabled.